race to the end. If, they, if you beat me to the end, I might give it back. Or I might not. Let's just see, shall we? Off we go, then. Try and get ten every flavor beans from the kitten before time runs out. Watch out for those unstable blocks. Good luck. Start here. You must run across the roof beams. I've covered some of them in slippery flob of mucus just for you, Potter. If you get to the end before me, you win. Off we go, Potty Potter.
because the more you sleep also, they get back. Your father left this invisibility cloak in my possession before he died. It is time it was returned to you. Use it well. To activate this cloak, pick up the invisibility tokens. They will only work for a short time, so be careful.
reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what? thought Harry. and I'll find Hermione. Try to charm the troll's club so it bashes him on the head. Use your knockback jeeps to keep those toilets from hitting us.
Gryffindor's second Quidditch match of the year is about to begin. Gryffindor will be competing against the redoubtable talents of the Ravenclaw team. I realize this comes on short notice, but you're the best seeker we've had for ages. We're all waiting for you at the Quidditch pitch, so come at once. Deputy Headmistress McGonagall. Are you? It's going to be an exciting game. Ravenclaw is a fine team. Hagrid, what do you know about the third floor? You mean Fluffy? Fluffy? Yeah, I bought him off a Greek chap I met in the pub last year. I lent him a Dumbledore to guard the, uh... Guard the what? Don't ask me any more. That's top secret, that is. You forget that dog of what he's guarding. That's between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Who's Nicholas Flamel? Never you mind, I'm off. You better get going, Harry. The Quidditch match is about to start. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! The Quidditch pitch has three goals at each end. The chasers throw the couple and try to put it through the hoops to score. Watch out for the bludgers. These are charm balls that can knock you off your premises. Two leaders of each team try to keep them away. Harry Potter is once again Gryffindor's team. In the last match against Hufflepuff, he caught the snitch to win the game. Remember, when the snitch appears, he releases speed rings that will help the seeker fly faster. Some bad news, Harry. Norbert isn't doing too well. He's very sick. We 
need to make him some special dragon tonic to pep him up again. The tonic needs some very rare components, though, and there aren't any in the castle. So you and I must go to Diagon Alley to get them. to do, Mr. Potter, I'll explain how to steer the mine cart. Swing the mine cart left and right using the directional buttons. The cross button will lock the mine cart to help collect some of the more difficult canuts. Be careful, Mr. Potter, there are many obstacles in these mines. Stay clear of them if you want to hold on to your coins. There are bonus gems hidden in this mine, and only accurate control of your mine cart will reveal them. Collect as many canucks as you can to complete the level.
to the right of the Congratulations, Mr. Potter. You have succeeded. Care to have another go? Please return to the bank through this door. Mr. Potter, I understand you're quite expert in the collection of canuts. I wonder if you approve as talented at collecting sickles. There are bonus gems hidden in this. Be careful, Mr. Potter. Remember, good luck.
Congratulations, Mr. Potter, you have succeeded. Do you want to try again? Please return to the bank through this door. Famous Mr. Potter, you have quite a reputation down here, sir. The other goblins are convinced you'll steer the mine cart easily. Steering is still the cross button. Be careful, Mr. Potter. There are bonus. Ch
hold on, Mr. Potter. You have collected your galleons. Do you want to try again? You can return to the main foyer through this door. Mr. Potter, I hope you spend them wisely. in the yard. My advice is to sneak up on him. The surprise makes him drop his feathers. I must warn you, never use your wand against a peacock. You might hurt yourself. Have a good look around. There are boxes filled with things I've long forgotten.
I'm afraid you weren't fast enough. Be sure to concentrate next time, Harry. Three of his feathers, eh? I suspected you would do well. <laughs> <laughs> 